biggest risk factor, not for being infected by COVID-19, but in terms of the outcome, uh, whether you're going to be hospitalized, whether you're going to be suffering from uh, uh, lung, if, uh, lung insufficiency, or whether you're going to be actually dying from the disease is, is really determined by your age. And uh, so aging is actually the biggest risk factor for your outcome in terms of, of COVID-19. Not only your age, but also there's a subset of patients who are at higher risk. And these patients carry uh, a number of disease that we actually call the chronic disease of aging. So it really points to the fact that the basic mechanism that underlie the aging process are actually playing a role in how you respond uh, to this virus. And the, the, the review that uh, Diana uh, what Dina was just referring to is um, actually discussing the alteration that happened in the immune system as, as we age. And there are two broad manifestations of immune aging. One is um, a chronic state of inflammation, also called inflammation. And the second one is a, a defect, defect in adaptive immunity, which prevents you from actually responding to the virus in an appropriate manner. Um, both arms of the immune systems are go awry in, in aging, and we're really trying to understand what are the implications of this, not only for COVID-19, but for also all of the other chronic diseases of aging. Now, the implications does not stop there because it turns out that if you are 70 years old, about 30% of, of age individuals will not respond to a vaccine. And so this has obviously implications not only how you get sick, but also how you get protected. Um, now, the good news is uh, we are predicting in, in this review that many of the interventions that we have identified that modulate aging pathways will also be playing a role in mitigating the adverse response that you might get to COVID-19. So um, I think there's a lot of optimism that uh, these interventions are going to change the course of the epidemic in the long term, and we're feverishly working on, on trying to implement those. Right. Well, for people who are not vaccinated, often when they hear that you'll look older, then they rush out, rush out and get a vaccine. The, the, the risk to, to your body of getting COVID is far greater than any potential side effects of the vaccine. Um, what we know for sure is that the virus will accelerate a process called cellular senescence, which is one of the causes of aging itself, one of the hallmarks. Um, and so there's a lot of evidence, actually, that, that, that the long COVID in particular is not just mimicking aging, but is actually aging itself, which is something that could lead to a lot of economic cost to the country a decade or two from now, and certainly for individuals uh, themselves who will be more susceptible to these diseases, lung diseases, heart diseases. Um, so please uh, try to get vaccinated if you haven't already, because that you don't want to have that process. But it, it, again, speaking to what Eric said, is that aging is the root cause of most diseases that are, affect the world including infectious diseases. And it's something that we often don't appreciate. 